In modern times, the food industry basically does what they need to do in order to make some money. If that involves adding some harmful substances to our food, they just might do it. Some food is banned because it's an endangered species, while other commodities are actually illegal because they can give you a disease. From small birds pickled in brandy to blood oysters, here are banned foods around the world. Hey guys, if you haven't noticed already, we're almost at a million subscribers, so remember to smash that subscribe button. Number 16. San Nakji Despite this food being pretty popular in Korea, other countries have caught on that it's semi-cruel and also possibly a choking hazard. San Nakji basically translates to baby octopus and most of the time it looks like your plate is moving. While sometimes it's slaughtered right before people eat it, it can also be served alive. Either way, the octopus has a complex nervous system and the tentacles will continue to move for a few hours despite no input from the creature's brain. It's a potentially dangerous food and the suction cups can get stuck on someone's esophagus or even their windpipe. People who eat it will douse it in sesame seed oil in order to reduce some of the suction cup power. Nonetheless, it's banned in Australia, Taiwan, the UK, and the USA. Number 15. Genetically Engineered Papaya To genetically modify or not to genetically modify appears to be the question many farmers will have to face. It seemed to have gotten started with genetically engineered papaya. In the state of Hawaii, where much of it is grown, they were faced with a serious issue that was devastating their papaya. The papaya was undergoing an outbreak of ring spot virus, which ruined all the fruit in the 1950s. In any case, a pathogen-resistant papaya was produced by means of genetic engineering, which allowed for it to prosper once again. But the idea was not so warmly embraced by everybody. Greenpeace activists stormed GM papaya farms in Thailand and began dumping them in hazardous material barrels. Others believe that papayas would be simply extinct if it weren't for GM changes. GM papaya is currently illegal on the EU market and Hawaii might be the first state to ban it. What do you believe? Is it okay to genetically modify if it doesn't result in more pesticides being sprayed on it? Number 14. Kinder Surprise Chocolate Eggs In 1997, the U.S. Consumer Product Safety Commission declared the recall of roughly 5,000 Kinder Chocolate Eggs, which contain a plastic toy inside. The problem was that many people, especially kids, didn't know that there was a toy inside and it became a choking hazard. The eggs are imported from Germany and bringing them to the U.S. is now legal. People from the U.S. couldn't read the writing, which was in German, explain what was inside. All it said was Kinder Überraschung. This translates to surprise in German, which might be a good word to know in German. Number 13. Potassium Bromate Bread Classified as a Category 2B carcinogen, this substance has been banned in the European Union, Canada, Argentina, Brazil, India, and even China. But why is it still allowed in the US? Great question! Potassium bromate is added to flour to make the bread and dough stronger and allow for higher rising. Despite the FDA knowing that it's a carcinogen, they allowed for its use but urged bakers to kindly stop using it. In experiments, it showed nephrotoxic effects to both humans and mice. This means that it can cause severe kidney damage. Number 12. Polish Potato Ban While various foods are banned throughout the UK, one of the stranger ones we came across are potatoes that are specifically grown in Poland. The 2004 Polish Potato Order makes it illegal to import into England potatoes which he or she knows to have been originally from Poland. The law was put into effect there where an outbreak was taking place known as ring rot. It certainly sounds like something you don't want to get. Ring rot is caused from a bacteria which will leave a ring-shaped rot around the potato. The infection will have a soft cheese-like texture to it and essentially make the potato crops useless. Although it's harmless to humans, it can completely destroy a farmer's yield if it gets spread. So keep your potatoes out of the UK, Poland. Your potatoes aren't welcome there. Number 11. Blood Clams This strange type of clam is found in the country of Mexico and is considered to be a delicacy. However, the clams have been known to actually spread all kinds of diseases such as typhoid, hepatitis A, and various bacterial infections. They really don't look all that appetizing anyway, so it's possibly a good idea just to avoid blood clams altogether. They're banned in the UK, but in places like New York City, they might be on the menu. Some sources claim that you'll have a 15% chance of catching hepatitis if you try out one of these clams. Do you want to take that chance? Number 10. Brominated Vegetable Oil Known as BVO, it's banned just about everywhere in the world as a food additive, but is also still active in the US and Japan. Why would they add a strange substance in our drinks? It's mainly to keep different flavors and ingredients from breaking apart and helps prevent certain flavors from floating to the top. 
It might end up in your soft drink like Mountain Dew, Fanta Sundrop, and energy drinks. Brominated vegetable oil might also be used as a pesticide, a flame retardant, a nasal spray, and plastics to name a few reasons. It's also linked to thyroid problems, skin rashes, and other bad stuff. Check for this sneaky ingredient next time you're shopping, and let us know where you find it in the comment section. Number 9. Ractopamine There are only 27 countries that will deem pork infused with ractopamine suitable for human consumption. This includes the US, Canada, and Japan, however countries in the EU and the UK don't allow it. It's considered to be so dangerous that even China and Russia have banned it. So why not the US? It all dwindles down to money, of course. We guess you can say that it's similar to a performance-enhancing substance and reduces fat content of animals while increasing the muscle, thus increasing meat profits. It's typically administered to animals only days before slaughter, which means they'll likely be in your meat when you eat it. The company who produces ractopamine noticed that it managed to make mice more muscular and went as far as giving it to various farm animals. It also is not intended for human use because one common side effect of the drug is, well, expiration. The best way to avoid this substance is by choosing grass-fed free-range options. Number 8. Milk with Bovine Growth Hormone Performance-enhancing substances like human growth hormone are legal without a proper prescription. Cows are given bovine growth hormones, also known as bovine somatotropin, which acts as a stimulant for producing milk. The main argument for it being safe is that BGH is not active in humans and therefore won't cause us to transform into massive mutant cows, but something just doesn't feel right about it. The American Cancer Society has no formal position on the substance, but a lot of countries just aren't going to take any risks. There seems to be a lot more concern as to whether or not it's safe for the cow. It's mainly banned in Europe, New Zealand, Japan, Israel, and Canada. It didn't really seem to take other countries too much time to deem this stuff as harmful, so why is the US still using it? Number 7. Fugu the worst disaster that could possibly happen if you're cooking or preparing food is if you introduce neurotoxins on someone's plate. Although a puffer fish is considered to be a delicacy, a potent neurotoxin is released from the fish's skin, liver, gonads, and intestines. Chefs in Japan require a special permit to prepare this deadly critter, but of course, accidents still happen. Exposure will lead to paralysis, block of nerve impulses, and eventually asphyxiation. In 2015, five men in Japan were poisoned after they apparently asked to eat the puffer fish's liver. The men were hoping just to eat a very small amount of it in order to feel the numbing sensation that comes along with this type of fish. The chef should have known better, which actually makes it for one of the worst cooking fails of all time. Number 6. Queen Conch this beautiful shellfish is actually pretty tasty once you open it up and eat it. The conch queen is a banned food in the US to import because overfishing threatens its existence. It's actually more like a giant sea snail, which has a very sturdy shell. The Caribbean is the main exporter of conch meat to the US, and demand for it is quite high. The US is responsible for 80% of the consumption of this endangered creature. Number 5. Farm-Raised Salmon some researchers believe that farm fish are actually the most toxic food in the world and it's quite frightening. Fish farmers in places like Norway have been revealed in documentaries that farm fish contain a shocking amount of pollutants and chemicals, making it one of the most toxic foods in the world. Graphs reveal that in this case, the fish had five times as much toxins than anything else found in the supermarket. Experiments were done on mice that revealed some very disturbing results to the test mice. It made them obese with diabetes in comparison to normal food. Some believe the key factor is the food that is fed to the fish, which makes them much larger than normal. So eat farm fish at your own risk. Number 4. Pig's Blood Cake Who on earth would eat something that sounds this horrifying? If you guess the Taiwanese, good job. Pig's Blood Cake has been banned in the US due to sanitary reasons, and whatever reason they find is fine by me. No need to guess what the secret ingredient is with this one. It's basically like a street food delicacy that's made with soy broth, sticky rice, and oh yeah, pig's blood. The rice is then dipped in blood and then deep fried. Other ingredients might be used to coat the deep fried pig blood on a stick, but once you eat it, you have to live with yourself. Supporters of the tree claim that there are no sanitary issues with the preparation process, but it's still banned here. Number 3. Atrazine Laced Food It turns out that it's not just in the water anymore, it's starting to get into our food. This has made atrazine laced food ban the EU. Atrazine is a herbicide that's extensively used in the Midwest, where majority of the United States food is grown. As of 2014, it's the second most widely used herbicide in the United States, after Roundup Ready. Various studies would indicate that it's a hormonal disruptor, too. When tested on frogs, it was rather shocking to see what the results were. Scientists claim that it could leave frogs with both male and female characteristics by limiting the amount of testosterone produced. 
In 2012, the company who produces it, Syngenta, claimed that it was a bunch of junk science, but eventually they had to pay $105 million to reimburse 1,000 water systems. Atrazine can be found in many crops, including corn, soy, fruit, vegetables, nuts, and wheat. It might be virtually impossible to avoid at this point unless you buy organic, so watch out. Number 2. Ortolan The Ortolan is a small bird that has a shrinking population due to overhunting and difficulty protecting their population. Ortolans have been eaten by Roman emperors since ancient times. Once captured, the birds are preserved in brandy for a certain period of time. The bird is then roasted for 8 minutes and plucked before being consumed entirely. Everything besides the bone and the head gets consumed here basically. The proper way to eat an ortolan is to use a napkin to cover your face, which is either done to hide your face from God or a convenient way to spit out the bones. In any case, it's a fairly odd form of food that's been banned across the EU. Anyone out there ever tried this strange delicacy before? Let us know in the comments section. And number 1. Gum in Singapore You might remember your teacher in high school going absolutely crazy each time he chewed gum. Well, imagine living in a place where everyone was exactly like your teacher and where chewing gum is actually illegal. In the country of Singapore, instead of getting attention for chewing gum, you would normally get like a $700 fine. So that means all importation of gum is completely banned unless it's nicotine gum prescribed by a doctor. Chewing gum seemed to be causing some serious problems in the 1980s when it was getting all over the public railway. So if a cop comes up to you, make sure you swallow that gum or pay the fine. 